So I'm here to talk about suicide, suicidal ideation. What, what is that exactly? When you feel suicidal, it is extremely scary. And often you feel desperate, alone. But what you have to understand, and I'm speaking of someone that has experienced suicidal ideation since I was 18 years old. I'm now 43 and I'm still alive, you know, and why is that? So when you hear a voice saying, kill yourself, kill yourself, die, 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 it isn't actually real. You're not supposed to act on it. Actually, with time it will pass. It's almost like sitting out a storm and waiting for the storm to subside. But when you're feeling suicidal, the most important thing is to not be alone with these negative thoughts because they can spiral and they can become more intense and more amplified and it can be extremely scary. Try to speak to a friend or call a helpline like the Samaritans or see your GP. Try to talk to someone about what is happening. If you find that you're on your own and there isn't anyone to talk to, there's still a way of getting out of it. I know because I've been there. Feeling suicidal is very much linked to depression. It's when the depression gets so bad that the suicidal thoughts start to come. It can be extremely scary when you hear a voice in your head persistently telling you to end your life. I've learned to live with the negative voices in my head. Everyone has those negative voices, but perhaps in my head, they are more amplified than in the average person's brain. And when you're feeling suicidal, so you could experience visions, awful gruesome visions, seeing yourself dead, jumping from a building, in a bath with slit wrists, hanging from a hook on a door. It's very, very scary, and it takes its toll on you. And you can also hear a voice telling you to die, 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 kill yourself, kill yourself. And it can be incessant. But the reason why this is happening is because your brain is under siege. You're going into fight or flight mode. You can't cope. It's your brain's way of saying, I've had it, I want out. But actually, you shouldn't give these voices credence because with time, they will pass. Mood is like the weather and it will invariably change. But when you're feeling suicidal, you have to take it seriously. You shouldn't be alone. You shouldn't suffer in isolation. Reach out. Call the Samaritans, it's free. If you call and the person on the other side isn't empathetic or you don't feel comfortable, hang up and try again and keep trying until you hear that kind voice. Because often that's what we need to hear, a kind, empathetic voice to soothe the rebarbative, negative voice in our heads. Not everyone has friends or family to turn to Many people don't understand, they're repelled by your pain. But you still have to keep fighting. There are many things that you can do. There are many things that I have learned over the years. The importance of sleep, the importance of diet, the importance of eating serotonin and dopamine rich foods, the importance of exercise for endorphins, the importance of hydration. All these things can make a difference. And if the voice still persists, and it can be agony, don't act, don't act on them, don't give up. I didn't give up, I'm still here. I still find it hard. There are days which are very, very difficult, but you have to keep fighting because you have one life. 
and each life is precious and each life counts and you might be feeling so worthless and helpless and feel so alone in the world and that no one would care if you died tomorrow but I care I really care and I don't want you to do it the mind can be like a prison but you need to find a way out towards that small tent of blue in the sky you need to find a way out towards the garden that your mind can be